OpenAI released another update in ChatGPT and now they brought huge improvement in image generation. Very quickly in this video, let me show you what are the additional capabilities they brought and how that image generation model is working. If you follow my mouse, currently I'm in Google homepage and if I just go to chatgpt.com, then you will be able to see this type of interface. If you have not used chatgpt earlier, you can use your Google credentials to log in. Now this new image generation capability is available for all users, free, plus pro all tiers it's available however for free tier there will be limited number of images you can generate in fact i have chat gpt plus subscription but there also after generating 8 to 10 images it's asking me to wait for 5 minutes 10 minutes and then only i'm able to generate my next images considering it's a new release and it's breaking the internet everyone is trying to generate images using chat gpt nowadays so that's why they may have introduced this threshold limit now let me show you very quickly earlier i copied this complex prompt from mid journey let me use this prompt to see that how this new image generation model of chat gpt is working but before that if i come here and click on these three dots i need to click on create image it's not mandatory without that also it can create images but for now i have selected it and if i click on this button then it will start generating the image you can see it's getting started and now it will slowly generate the image. Earlier during image generation, ChatGPT was using DALI. Now it's completely changed and OpenAI came up with a native image generation model which is being used in ChatGPT. Let's see how it's performing. Considering everyone is using, you can see that it's taking a bit of a more time and you may also face the same problem. Few days back in Twitter, Sam Altman was also writing our GPUs are melting because everyone is trying this new feature. But let's see how it generates. Now we can see it's generating this image and look at this, how detailed this image is. Let it complete and then we'll expand it further and we'll see that what are the other things we can do using this new capability. Now you can see the image has been generated. If I click on it, this is the clarity of the image. We can do a couple of things here. If I close it, first of all, you'll be able to download this image from here. If I click on it, you'll be able to see it's 1.6 MB image. Earlier, ChatGPT used to generate images within 500 to 600 KB and max to max 700 KB. Now it doubled the size. So now we can expect much more clear and high resolution images. That's one. If I use this particular prompt, change this image to a sunny day. Here in the image, you can see it's a cloudy day and I'm asking it to change it to a sunny day. If I click on it, then it will start generating this image another time. So it took nearly 20 seconds to think and now it started generating the image and let's see how it generates this image. Now this is complete. If I again click on this particular download button, let me download this image and now this image you can see is 3 MB image. So it's double of the size of the earlier image. Now if I open both of the image, you can see it maintained the same character which was a very, very rare thing earlier in ChatGPT. After every prompt, it used to change the character. But here, we are editing this image with our prompt and you can see both of the characters are same. If I just zoom it in a bit, only difference is in the color. Here, it was a gloomy day. That's why shading and everything are different. Now, we mentioned is a sunny day. All these shades and other things fine-tuned accordingly. So this is doing excellent, I would say. This is the best images we are getting from ChatGPT after two years of its launch. So ChatGPT is taking a bit more time to generate images because of this obvious load on their system. So let me very quickly show you what are the images I generated so that we can save some time and those resources also can be utilized by someone else while they are trying ChatGPT new image generation model. So here what I did, I uploaded one of my funny image which I earlier clicked for YouTube thumbnail. And then I mentioned, turned my portrait into a KFC poster. And then it generated this image. So while it's not definitely my photo, it did a fabulous job. You can see it brought right logo of KFC. And all those texts are proper, which was an issue earlier with all LLM models. Now what I asked, this is not good. Please make this model eating one chicken leg piece. 
and then it generated this image so you can see how it's going to change this advertisement industry the way you will be able to change images your model images their actions everything now going to the next level so this is really really good so these are the few images i earlier generated while it's funny and it's needs to improve on to maintain the character image it looks like me but it's not me uh, definitely will expect in the down the line this will also improve but this is excellent now let me show you another thing and that's my favorite i liked it like anything this image earlier i generated using meta ai you can see there is a meta ai watermark here I was trying to create one comic book and that video is also coming in this channel soon. This image I gave and I mentioned please regenerate this image in Tintin comic style which was my favorite comic book in my younger age and look at what it generated. This is the image it generated which is fabulous. It followed everything. If you ever read Tintin comic book then you will realize that how good this image generation is and it did a fabulous job. again i tried with my portrait and <laughs> it generated this image which definitely a tintin comic book version of my photo so this is really good there are multiple different ways also you can ask chat gpt to generate and convert your images to multiple different other comic style image so there are few of the images which are going really viral on the internet you can check those and you can use those prompts and you will be able to start using it Now let me show you another thing where it is not performing that well as per the expectation. So let me show you that. So all these positive points we saw, but one area ChatGPT really needs to improve. So this is the one. Let me show you very quickly. I uploaded one of my old YouTube video thumbnail, and what I requested replace the YouTube logo with Instagram logo. Keep everything as is, and then. it came back with this image <laughs> look at my photo it changed like anything it also added that instagram logo but the text you can see it's a very basic text it added so what i did again i reprompted i uploaded my image again and now i asked change this character to a cartoon style image keep everything as is now if you see here i uploaded that thumbnail image again with youtube logo so with this prompt it should generate youtube logo only right but considering i use the same chat thread and it use the same token now it generated this image so this image is really funny i liked it here it added that instagram text properly but i mentioned to continue with youtube logo but it added the instagram logo. so there are few of the areas it still needs to improve especially retaining any of the face of any person so that down the line we will be all able to use creating thumbnails of our videos and it will reduce some of the work till date i use canva to create all my youtube thumbnails but once chat gpt will improve on this thing it will save me good amount of time so these are the few of the things i thought of showing in this video i will also list few of the styles other comic styles which you will be able to see in the screen now using which also you will be able to generate images just upload any of the photo and ask it to convert to any of this specific comic style and it will generate the images for you i also created few of the images using some of those methods which were really really good let me know in the comments below what do you think and how are you going to utilize this new feature in your workflow if you want to generate consistent ai character and that's also for free using google gemini 2 you can check this video to know everything about it